It's the final international break before the January transfer window, so it's the perfect time to discuss what would be an ideal January transfer window for Manchester United. Now, Jose Mourinho wasn't completely backed by the club in the summer. We signed Fred, we signed lot, we signed Grant, but the club vetoed signings like Harry Maguire or Toby Alderweireld, and Manchester United didn't get the centre-back signing that Jose Mourinho wanted. But Mourinho is still in the job. He hasn't been sacked. And United need reinforcements if we're going to do anything with the remainder of this season. We're currently 12 points behind Man City. I think we're 10 points behind Liverpool, who are both flying. And if United are really serious about finishing in the top four this season, I do think Man United need to make reinforcements in the January transfer window. But who would that be? Who would I like to see Manchester United sign and Manchester United sell in January? Here's my take on what would be an ideal January transfer window for Man United. Now, the first signing I'd like to see Man United make is Toby Alderweireld from Spurs. Mourinho wanted him in the summer. United vetoed a move for him. But the way the season is going, United, as I said, have to back Jose Mourinho now in January if they really want to be, to be making that top four. Because I think without it, United are going to struggle. And my, how Manchester United need a centre-back leader. Now, Alderweireld hasn't been in the best form for the last 18 months. Everything that went on at Spurs with Pochettino, him getting a new contract, obviously not getting a new contract, injuries, being in and out of the team, he hasn't been in the greatest of form. He doesn't seem happy, but he's a world-class defender. One, still one of the best in the Premier League as far as I'm concerned. Now, Lindelof has been excellent in the last couple of months. Smalling is Chris Smalling, has been good at times, but shit at other times. Jones is Jones. And Eric Bailly has fallen out of favour under Jose Mourinho this season. So we need a new centre-back signing. If you look at Toby Alderweireld, he'll cost £26 million in the summer because there's a clause in his contract with Spurs that means that a club can sign him for £26 million in the summer. It'd be an absolute bargain. So if Manchester United went in in the January transfer window, offer of around £40 million, I think Spurs would have to consider it. Surely would have to consider it. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Is there any chance that Spurs would actually sell Alderweireld if United went in for him? I mean, for me, £40 million for Alderweireld would be a pretty good value signing. He's 29 at the moment, going to be 30 in March. But he is a ready-made, as I said, world-class Premier League centre-back. And there aren't that many like Alderweireld around. You've got to look at this at the moment and you think, what's worse than Manchester United? Signing a 29-year-old centre-back who has, doesn't have too much resale value, which was the main reason why we didn't go after him in the summer, or potentially missing out on the Champions League places, missing out on the money that comes with that, and what would happen to Manchester United in the summer transfer window if we try to sign players without the Champions League. On paper, it seems more logical than anything else to go after Alderweireld, but Mourinho wanted a new centre-back signing in the summer. We've seen this year just how poor our defence is. Last year, second best defence in the league. This year, second worst defence in the league as far as I'm concerned. We're leaking goals left, right and centre. And Lindelof, as good as he has been, he needs a defensive leader alongside him. And I don't have faith in Chris Smalling that he can ever be that man again. And that is why I would want Man United to go after Toby Alderweireld as the main signing in the January transfer window. Now, as well as a new centre-back, in an ideal world, I think Man United would sign a new right winger. You look at the squad we've got right now. Anthony Martial, he's made the left wing position his own. He's dominated there this year. Nobody's taken that away from him. At number nine, United have got Romelu Lukaku and Alexis Sanchez vying for that position. Marcus Rashford does play there on occasions as well. We're, we've got plenty of options in that position. But at right wing, you've got Jesse Lingard who tries there. You've got Marcus Rashford who has tried there on occasions. Alexis Sanchez sometimes plays there too. And so does Juan Mata. But it's a clear weakness in this Manchester United attack. Now, I'm going to need your help on this one because I don't know an ideal right-wing signing that Manchester United should be looking at. In the summer, we looked at Willian. We were linked with him. He's still at Chelsea. We were linked with Malcolm. He joined Barcelona. We bought Sanchez in the January transfer window, but he's hardly playing on right wing, even though we looked at the squad and said, look, you can play Martial left wing, Lukaku up front, and Sanchez right wing. It hasn't really worked out. Now, Mourinho has said that he prefers to have attackers, his three attackers, or his two wingers, sorry, being able to cut inside and act like a striker and have that sort of natural confidence in front of goal. But I don't know a right winger who would suit and fit those characteristics right now. So I want to know from you in the comments, 
If you were Jose Mourinho, who would be the right winger that you would go after in the January transfer window? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, these are the two major signings that I'd like to see Manchester United do in January, but it's not only ins that Man United have to do. As far as I'm concerned, there are a couple of players I'd like to see Manchester United sell as well. Now, first up is Matteo Darmian. United cannot mess around anymore and just keep so much dead wood at the club. It's time to shift some on, and Darmian, for me, is the first name on the list. He's a player who's played once all season, and a player who... Since he's joined Manchester United, had a brilliant start up until United played, I think, Arsenal away and we lost 3-0. Darmian was poor from then on, played great in the Europa League final, but he's very much been a makeshift player in this squad. He's an emergency fullback option. And if you look at United's fullback options this year, left back. Luke Shaw, just like Anthony Martial, left wing. Luke Shaw has made left back his position. Darmian's not getting in ahead of him. And Ashley Young is a player who deputises at left back for Luke Shaw. At right back, you've got Antonio Valencia who's been out of the team for some time now. Ashley Young's been playing there too. And you've also got Diogo Dalot. Darmian's not getting in ahead of any of them. For me, Darmian is no longer needed at the club as an emergency fullback. He's an unnecessary extra. And for me, it's time for Darmian to leave. And I think Man United would get a suitor. Someone in Italy would sign Darmian. I've got no doubt he'd go on to be a good defender for that team. It will be the right decision for United to let Darmian go and the right decision for Darmian in terms of his career. So for me, Darmian leaving in January would be an absolute must in an ideal January transfer window. And another player I think that should be sold is Marcus Rojo. Now, once upon a time, Marcus Rojo was great for Manchester United. It was in that year where, unfortunately, that cruciate ligament injury basically, as far as I'm concerned, ended his United career because Rojo since has hardly featured at all. Obviously, he was out for some time with that injury, but we've signed Lindelof. Shaw has made left back his own position. Ashley Young is going to deputise there when he doesn't play. There isn't anywhere that Rojo fits in. A bit like Matteo Darmian, previously there was a spot in the squad for Rojo, but that spot doesn't exist anymore for Rojo. And just like Darmian, I think it will make more sense than anything else for Rojo to move on and try and rekindle his career somewhere else. Rojo did have a spot previously, but that's not the case anymore. And United really need to get rid of the dead wood in this squad. And for me, Rojo and Darmian, unfortunately, are two of those players. Now, as well as these two ideal signings and probably two players I'd like to see leave in the January transfer window, there's another few things that I would like to see happen. First and foremost here, if Alexis Sanchez is unhappy at Manchester United, I want to see him leave in January. Now, that might be a controversial opinion. I want to explain exactly why. There have been lots of reports from reputable sources, including The Times, saying that Sanchez is unhappy at Manchester United, he's unhappy under Jose Mourinho, and he wants to join Paris Saint-Germain. Now, previously, Mourinho said that he would never really keep a player at Manchester United that didn't want to be there. Case in point, Memphis Depay. He let him join Lyon because Depay was not happy at the club. Now, the same thing has to apply to Sanchez if he's unhappy there. Because if reports are true that Sanchez is unhappy, I don't see any reason why Manchester United would need to keep Sanchez. Now, I'd be perfectly happy if Sanchez was to stay in January and if he wanted to fight for his spot in the squad. And he really started to show the sorts of performances that made United fans giddy when we signed him from Arsenal. Last couple of weeks, you know, against Bournemouth and Juve, he's played quite well as a number nine. But it's still not the same level that we saw from Sanchez at Arsenal. But if he does want to leave and he doesn't want to be at Manchester United anymore, I don't want him at Manchester United anymore. And it is as simple as that. And something else I don't want to see happen, I don't want to see Eric Bailly be sold by Jose Mourinho. Now, that, there's been strong links linking AC Milan with a move for Eric Bailly in the January transfer window. But I don't want to see him go. For me, out of all the centre-backs we've got in the squad, Bailly is the centre-back who has the highest potential ceiling of becoming a fantastic player in the future. He was brilliant at the start for Manchester United. When injuries took him out of the team, it curtailed his progress and he's never properly got back into that rhythm. This year he's fallen out of favour under Jose Mourinho and with the United fans I suppose because he's a bit of a hothead. Massively a hothead. That's being polite calling him a bit of a hothead. Sometimes he's great, sometimes he's a terrible and you think why are you making that decision? But I still would have more belief in by becoming a top draw centre back than I would in Smalling or Jones getting better and better and better. I think Smalling and Jones have peaked as players I think Bailly has the potential to become a better player than both of them. And if it, if it reaches a point where 
I see Manchester United sell Eric Bailly before selling Phil Jones and or Chris Smalling, I'm going to bury my head in the sand because that would be an abomination of a decision. Man United shouldn't be selling Eric Bailly. Man United should be backing Bailly and trying to get the best back out of him because we saw at the start of his United career, he can be sensational. Now that would be my ideal January transfer window. Two new signings, a new centre-back in Alderweireld, desperately needed. Somebody who can be a leader alongside Lindelof might solve our centre-back problems. Yes, he wouldn't be the resale value that maybe the club wants, but he could be the ready-made centre-back that we need to make a difference right now. And then a new right wing forward. Who would that be? I don't know, but let me know what you think in the comments. But those two signings, that's an ideal situation for Manchester United. And the ideal players to be leaving the club, Matteo Darmian and Marcus Rojo. Two players who, they're just outside of the squad now. They're at the club, but they're not really players at the club anymore. Mourinho doesn't have faith in either of them, doesn't use either of them. It'll be the right time for both players to move on. But what would be your ideal transfer window in January? Let me know what you think in the comments below with the players that you'd love to see Manchester United sign and the players you'd love to see Manchester United sell. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe.